he'd come up with some wisecracks, you know, he'd come up with some zingers, you know, and yeah, and he was, he was a friend, but uh, he wasn't, he wasn't the, you know, Patsy was Richie's best friend, and Ralph was one of those guys that, you know, he knew, but was, had a car. At the beginning, Ra Ralph was probably cooler, because he, he was in this car club, he had the, he had the rod, and, and, and he wasn't, it wasn't so much that, you know, they didn't play up the fact that he was as uh, goofy or the guy that was the clown, you know, he wasn't, that happened later, that happened, that was one of those things that happened more in the three camera format. And some of that was, I think, largely attributed in my mind to our director, uh, Jerry Paris, who was a big influence on that character, I think, because Jerry was like that. Jerry, Jerry was a funny guy and he was a wonderful director and, and he was, he, he loved to be on and, and, and be the comic. And so he would give me stuff. You know, and then I and then I would run with it. You know, he'd come up with an idea, or I'd come up with an idea, and then he'd give me something, and we'd bounce off each other. And and a lot of I think Ralph's personality came from from Jerry. I mean, the my, the, the the line that it was associated with my character a lot was I still got it. That was Jerry. You know, I took that. I stole that from Jerry. He used to do that all the time, and I said I'm going to use that. You know. Because there we go, I still got it, you know, <laughs> and, and, I go, and then I started using it, and then it took off, you know, and then the writers loved it, and they tried to find every new instance where that would work, you know, where I could use that. Well, the hilarious thing is when they brought in, um, forgive me, uh, to play your father. Jack, uh, Jack Dodson, who played, played uh, my father, Mickey Mouth. <laughs> Tell me yeah. about that, that relationship, because he was, on, he was from... Uh, he, he played Howard Sprague on the uh, Andy Griffith show. Yeah, he was a great guy to work with. Um, very interesting style. You know, his sense of humor was, um, I don't know, distinct. It was very distinct. And um, we didn't have a lot of episodes together, but it seemed to have made an impression, because a lot of people asked me about him, and um, I had a ball doing those scenes with him. And... and um, you know, he had this sort of dry sense of humor that you didn't, he would come up with things that you didn't expect and it would come out in this kind of odd way, but it was very funny, very funny. In reality, you know, my, my, real, my real life personality was, I mean, there's elements of, of myself in Ralph, but, but for the most part, if you'd talked to me back then, I was very different. I was a lot more sort of introspective and, and when I was in high school, I was more like Richie Cunningham. I was an honor student and... I was I was not funny. I was not the guy who had the jokes. All my friends were like that, and I was like their straight man. But when I was when I saw when I was asked to play Ralph, and I saw where he, his character was going, I started using, you know, people from my past, from my high school, and 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 there were people that I knew like that, and and it started, you know, I started integrating that into my own personality to some degree, um, but. You know, I was not always as as um, smiley off the set <laughs> as I was on. You know, I, not in a bad way, but it, you know, I'm just saying it was it was it almost I almost felt like a little uh, schizo. You know, it was like a little Jekyll and Hyde thing because okay, now I'm Ralph and I had to be in this totally different mode than who who I was. You know, that's that's actually really interesting yeah. because you know a lot of sitcoms once they sort of see who the who the actors are, they start playing. To that actor, right? And you took a whole different. Yeah, in my case, it wasn't the, that way at all. It was, um, you know, but like I said, I had certain elements of Ralph where, when I got enthusiastic about something or excited about something, that would come through. But but the idea of you know being funny and and always being sort of in that that place um, was was very much uh, diametrically opposite than who I was. Henry, it was same, a very similar thing with Henry. Is very different. Than his character of the Fonz, he was a very different personality. So, um, you know, and that could be that could be a double-edged sword because as an actor, what happens is um, you get associated with that role, and I'm like saying, well, wait a minute, that's not who I am, and I could, you, as an actor, you want to play many other roles, and and so that's the double-edged sword. When the show is that successful, it becomes tough to break away from. It.